Hi, I'm Nick. I've been lifting since the age of 12, and over the past four years, I developed a body that I am proud of. But how has this transformation affected my body and my happiness? Does lifting young give you that popularity and attention that many teens yearn for, or does it throw a young generation into a spiral body dysmorphia, stunting their growth and ruining their body image? To understand my perspective, let's start at the very beginning of my journey. As a kid, I was considered pretty skinny and definitely did not have a lot of muscle. I grew up watching anime, particularly in the genre of shonen, which included animes like Naruto, Fairy Tail, and Sword Art Online, which was a huge inspiration. Seeing the protagonist being buff and strong, I was like, God damn, I need to get like that. So I guess you could say anime was kind of one of the sparks that started my workout journey. I eventually got a home gym, which I would work on my body maybe six to seven times per week, which gave me my good body, but also addiction to posing in every mirror I found. Over these years, I built a great experience in the gym and I just want to share them with you. I want to share all the pros and cons and if you should start lifting as a teenager. Pro number one, confidence. With a good body, your self-image really improves, and with more self-confidence, life seems and gets a lot more fun. Once you feel comfortable in your body, either through realizing that you're big or realizing what you've accomplished, your happiness can start really going up. I'm at the point where I feel 100% comfortable in my body and I love to show it off. And that social anxiety that you get from not looking good or feeling that you're not good enough can start going away. I mean, this won't all happen because you have a good body, but it's definitely a catalyst that can start changing things. Having pride in yourself and knowing what you can accomplish really sets the bar for your self-confidence to go up. If you're sitting in the mirror right now and you look at yourself and you're not happy with what you have achieved, then working out to get a better body will definitely make you feel better about yourself. So if you're struggling with your body right now and struggling with your confidence, pick up some weights and start going to the gym. Trust me, it helps so much and it makes life so much more fun. It's really a shame to live your life in a body that you aren't comfortable with. Pro number two, life skills. What I mean by this is by working out, you are able to hold yourself accountable for your body and your life. And this sense of being in charge is really important for teenagers because that's one of the first times you can be fully independent. It really shifts your mentality to why did this happen to me? Why is life so hard to how can I improve my life? How can I be better? We can also think about working out like this. If you can work out consistently for years, you can work on your future consistently for years. These skills that you learn and the hard work that you put in all translate to life. As you guys know, I started lifting at the age of 12 and over the past years, I have developed Fiverr business. I've made my own website, started thinking about future businesses. And recently in the past couple months, I finally made that final step to design, manufacture and mass produce my own business. The name is Q Futures and it's coming out in two months. Stay tuned. And I think it's because I started working out at such a young age where I can find it easy to sit down and just work on my future. The gym is definitely a stepping stone for all your life goals. The ambition and drive that you build up just by going to the gym is absolutely crazy and insane and yeah. You also just respect yourself enough to not go back on your wishes. If you are dieting and trying to cut down and you do that successfully, then you definitely have enough respect to yourself to fulfill your wishes. Your body rests in your hands and you bear that responsibility. How you treat your body will definitely show. Pro number three, health. Now, I know this might seem obvious, but you really gotta take care of your health, both physically and mentally. Being physically active is really important because it can help increase your brain activity, lower your chances of getting diseases, and help you manage your weight. And in recent studies, scientists have found that your muscles can be compared to an endocrine organ where it releases chemicals, hormones, and proteins that are all super beneficial to your brain health. These chemicals can make you resilient to stress and act as a natural antidepressant. The idea that your muscles are basically an antidepressant and all you have to do to get them is to contract your muscles or just be physically active is so cool. So if you're in some turmoil or you got some trauma in here, maybe working out would help you. Definitely if you're like over a breakup too. Oh my god, working out helps so much. So not just for your physical health, but also your mental health, you probably should start going to the gym. Now let's talk about the cons and one of the most asked questions. Can lifting as a teen stunt your growth? Well, to answer the question of can lifting young stunt your growth? The answer is it can, but very rarely. 
The only way it can is through accidents or bad form that hurt your growth plates. You shouldn't be scared though because this can happen into every sport. As long as you're not ego lifting or doing anything stupid, you're totally fine. And in my opinion, I actually think that lifting young builds great habits that make you grow taller. Habits like sleeping early or managing your diet can really help with growth. The only con. No one really talks about this. The daily harassment. The unconsented touching. It happens to me almost every day. Booty grabbing. Booby flicking. Ab punching. What am I supposed to do? Okay, in all seriousness, working out is great. And if you're a teen, I would highly suggest that you start working out to build those good habits. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And you can hit me on my Instagram if you have any questions and I'll be trying to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.